BC questions? Okay. Let's take a look at the next talk and then we're going to teach you. So, um, for a better model, right, okay, instantaneous x, right, with respect to t, right, is always modeled as x0 sine or cosine omega t. Okay? Frequency. Yeah. Yep, the trick is the omega. The omega can be written as uh, equal to 2 pi over t or actually it's equal to 2 pi f okay so you answer the t then inside the omega so, so it's some tangent pi equals 2 pi f yep okay. cancel cancel to 100 the frequency is 100 hertz mm -hmm. you, you, you see you see this inside your size no, of the omega this one? This is a formula. This is a uh, sinus model. Oh. Okay, remember, remember how I model it last, last lesson. Okay? Mm -hmm. Sine function plus minus, because it's 1, so time x0, right, will, be, will fluctuate between plus minus x0. Okay? Mm -hmm. But inside sine function, they keep angle, theta. Uh -huh. So, you, but your axis is the time, so how to map the time with theta? Uh -huh. You just put omega t will become a theta. So omega is actually a bridge. Once you time time, it becomes a theta. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you put it inside. So this is the model. Okay? You will start with cosine, cosine, sine, minus sine, minus sine, okay? Mm -hmm. Up to you when t goes what, what the shit. So is this omega how to find? 2 pi over t or 2 pi f. Okay? And this is what we call the phase angle. We say 180 degree out of phase, uh, anti phase, uh, in phase, uh, they're all this phase, say 90 degree out of phase for things. So 200 equals 2. Yep, so you, are, you see 200 pi t, right, in your mm -hmm. question, right? Yeah. So 200 pi t equal to omega t. So t t cancel, 200 pi equal to omega. Omega equal to 2 pi f. Pi pi cancel, 200 cancel, 100 less, so f equal to 100. Trust yourself and do do yourself. 200 pi t equals to 2 pi f. No R. 2 pi f t. 2 pi f over t. But 2 pi f times t. Oh. Omega t, right? You got omega t. Oh. Okay. Okay. The omega equals 2 pi f. Yeah, okay, I can. Okay. They want to make it omega because they don't want to see the f and t are together. Okay, explain question 2. Yep. I just copied from the textbook definition. State is made physical significant of root mean square current of AC current. It is. So what did you say? <laughs> state explain. It I, is the. I just copied so what steady direct current which dissipates energy in a given resistance at sensing rate. Physical significant of the root mean square current. It is the average value of a current. Of an AC current. Yeah. So, yeah. It's an average, yeah. But that's why, but that's why, why no one know as maybe your notes have some better answer. Okay. Actually, it's an average value of a uh, sinusoidal function. It would mean it's always the root mean square. Four C. Or you can say it is the root mean square is the yeah. square root of the mean square. <laughs> oh, that is like that is like direct from me. Yeah, what is would be square? Also, what's yeah, also, for, for C what's also wrong. How do you calculate for energy C. loss? What's the ratio of thermal energy loss in the line of those two cases? Two cases. AC transformer is also energy P dissolved from the generator plant into the factory. The current I try using V square of R cannot. If the current I M is represented in the line of transmission, we MS is Zero. What current I? Um, How do you calculate energy loss or heat loss from the Let me see. Uh, the an AC transmission line transfer energy rate. AC transmission line transfer energy at the rate from a generating plant to a factory. The current I RMS is present in the line if no, 
Come on, you're over here. We need to be over here. Sure. Damn, sure. Lie to, lie, lie, lie to someone. That's a bit lie, lie. Yeah. Now, what do you learn about, uh, about, I think they're testing you on something else. You've learned something on uh, how come you transmit through high voltage can save more energy than how come transmit through low voltage, right? So it's faster. So if the line are 240 like us, it's, it's more efficient One, two, four, zero. than our, our household use is 240. I'm oh. talking about our, our life, okay? It's more efficient than like American than, than trans trans transferring over 110 volt at home. Okay. And so, so what happens is that they, they have a power generate, generating, and then you try to step up the voltage, and then transmit, and then step down the voltage. Oh, because high voltage, lesser current, yeah, so that's less, the idea. less chance of loss. So how do you prove mathematically, say, higher voltage, lesser current? Um, when resistance stays constant. Mm. Now, so uh, power generating plant, um, let's say just as easy source, the, let this resistor be the wire transmissions, and this is the use usage, like that. Okay, simulator model, power plant transmit uh, transmission line uh, resistance, your load, okay, the actual usage. Okay, so this is the V power plant. Okay, this is actually the V V load. Okay, a useful well potential difference. This is actually due to the V loss. Or V um, wire, if you want to, if wire. But the point is that this PV will not be the same. Okay, we know that this is a generator. So these two add together with this, right? So they are not all different values. If this is 10, this is 2, this is 8. Got it? Okay, so they are different values. So it's, we cannot compare this. So the idea is that we use the I, because the IP, right, we build the I wire, and we equal to the Y load also, I, I load also. Because the I are the same. Faster. Yeah? Current be constant. Yeah, because it's a series, right? Okay, you don't have parallel bunch, right? This is, oh yeah. So the idea is that if you say power, the, the, the power loss here, if you use the power wire of square over R, this formula, okay, you will not, you cannot use the, the V of your power plant generations. Okay, so you cannot say that, oh, by using a higher P, you're higher this, you cannot compare because you don't know what this value. Okay? But if you use the P equal to I square R, you can use this one I, okay? So this is why, right, if the V P is high for the same power, your I P is low. When the I P is low, you can guarantee that this I is low. Okay, so the power loss at here will be low. What is this here that eats of power? Sorry? What is the middle thing that eats power? Oh, uh, normally it's those uh, heat. Friction, sound, or whatsoever. Okay. Through the wire. Through the wire. High wire resistance. Oh. Okay. Okay. So so this is why you can use the I of this guy. Okay. But the V you cannot use this because higher this P V will not means the higher V W. Okay. But higher the I, a lower the I, you can hit lower the I here. So that's the thing you need to know, right? So if this is what you learn, I think they are testing on this. And all these formulas, okay. So question number four. What current? So power A V. Yeah, four A four B no problems. What's the ratio of the energy loss? Loss in the line for these two cases. These two cases. For two cases. Do you use I square? Um, actually, I'm still reading what is what is this picture? AC transmission line transfer energy rate. So the five million volt is, is here or here or here. Point one. The be the first one. This one is it. Five million oh. volt, right? It's mega. Five mega volt. Yeah. Yeah. One mega is one million, right? Really? Yeah. I think so. <laughs> same. Six, yeah. Right. Tower six, right? Yeah. It's five million, five mega, same thing. Uh, generating factory. So what's I RMS? IRS is IRS here or IRS? Doesn't matter. The IRS are all it's right. different on both sides. The IRS is the same. I yeah, I is the same. I right? see. I see. Uh, between both mm -hmm. cases. So what is the middle V RMS is one to zero? Here. Or 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 the wire or there? Nothing. 
this will be one to zero. I don't worry. If the line, if the transmission voltage is one to zero volt, so is this side transmit with one to zero volt again? I think it's through the whole thing. I think it's this. Uh, this transmission. Yep. The and the second case is that if the tra tra case two means that they use the AT kilovolt. Okay. Just use by using one hundred twenty by using AT ki ki kilovolt. Right. What's the what's the ratio of thermal energy loss in, in in both cases? Case one or case two. Okay. So that means is 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 this guy's energy loss. Okay. On the line. Okay? So, so P line 1 over P line 2, okay? So uh, if there's a case, right, um, you want to borrow quantity from here, you borrow the I. Mm. So you use I square R1, I1 square R1, I2 square R, the same R. Why can I use V square over R? Because the V, you can use the V square over R, but if you use the V, you will use this V. You don't use this V. Uh, this is in series, right? So this V, the battery, is this V plus this V, right? Okay? So this V, two different V, you don't know this V how much? You don't know this V how much? When you're using this V, right, you can calculate the power. You don't have an R also. You can use this V and this resistor to get this one's power. You're going to use this V. Yeah, this V will not be equal to this V. Okay, so the only way you can borrow is the I. So since the resistor is the same, so it's actually I1 square, I1 over I2 holding, holding square. Because resistance yeah. is compared to... Just compare the square. different two different I M I M S. So this is why it's 42K divided by 62.4 no k, then square this will be the answer. Four, five, two, ten, ten, four, three. Ratio. Ratio is just a number. Then four point four times five times again. Four point five, right? Four. So you get one. Um. Let me see. I square R, but the two R is the same, right? Four is the same. It's still the Y, right? So they are the same, yeah. how much? It's the power loss at here for the first case, over the power loss here at the second case, right? Mm. So it's the power at here, the over the power at here. So it's the, the first times the I square R, divided by the second times I square R, right? So you don't need to find the R. Yeah, the R is just cancel. So you left I1 over I2 holding square. Steady current I dissipate a certain power in the rubber resistor. The resistor have to be half. I don't understand what you're saying. And this guy, I don't know. Okay. Steady current I dissipate a certain power in the rubber resistor. The resistor has to be half to obtain the same power when the sine solid alternating current is used. What is the IMS of the alternating current? Okay, good. Okay. 
So, um, resistor, dissipating, power. Steady current I, okay? So the case one, right, is using a DC. I, okay? DC. The, and then with the resistor R, okay? So case two, right, they say the resistor going to be half. Okay, that will give you the power. So, so complicated. Now, second, second case is that now, they, instead of using AC, DC, right, they use an AC. Okay? Then, but the resistor going to be half to obtain the same power. Then they ask what is the RMS value of the alternating current. RMS. Of course, I think in terms of I. So for DC, if an R and a P, right, all these things, right, okay, say P is equal to I square R. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. For AC, right, you have the same P. Okay, this is DC, this is AC. If you want to use, you see R root mean square, right? Square the R also, right? Mm -hmm. But now, right, the R is R over 2, and they want to achieve the same power. You see it? I root mean square is I max divided by root 2. Yeah, but uh, power, we just say it is V RMS times R RMS or I RMS square R or V RMS square over R, right? And that means we replace all the DC formula with RMS. Right. Okay. If you did further breaking, then the RMS equal to V naught over square two. Okay. Separate that. So, this is the case. Then cancel R. Then you see I RMS equal to two square root two pi. Right. Just like that. Yeah. Okay, I get that. The answer correct? Correct. Okay, AC actually, that's all you see from the last uh, last lessons we have. Nothing much to teach. Because everything you treat as an AC will do. And the AC formula just follow. And then the only complicated thing is about the Rubin square thing. Just to check with you, the uh, halfway rectification and the full wave rectification are not in syllabus anymore. Right? Are not in your syllabus anymore. Right? Do you see full wave rectifier diode? No oh, diode rectifier. Is it in your syllabus? For half, right? For half, no full, right? No. Yeah. Okay. Then still nothing to teach. <laughs> you won't have anything you don't understand, right? <laughs> the one last year then. Yeah. The I am the I RMS square hmm. times half equals to I square. I RMS I R M S square. Yeah. Half equal to I square. Yeah. So I R M S square equal to two I square. Okay, therefore I R M S equal to two square root two I. Why is meant by laminated core? Oh, laminated core. Oh, what's that? Uh, laminated core. You know what's the core first? The iron core. Yeah, the iron core is a ring type or a square, squarish. Squarish. Uh, not this 
square. Yeah, it's square, but some people make it round also. Square thing, huh? It's a block of iron. It's a lump. So we have a block of iron. Okay. Something wrong? Okay. Then you take a hole here. And you extract. Extract this uh, 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 rectangular block inside a rectangular block. Okay, this is the core. Okay, this core is not. Can this core be made of copper? Yes or no? Copper core. Yeah. Soft iron. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Why the reason is I'm not using this to magnify the electricity. To magnify the. Not really. I use this to conduct the magnetic field. Okay. Conduct magnetic field. So what's the mere laminator? Laminated means that actually chop these things, put this put this sausage into the cutting machine. Shoot, shoot, shoot. One layer, one layer. Come out, one piece and one piece come out. Imagine that. Then within every two piece, uh, a piece, right? You put a layer of insulator there. To make sure that they have uh, all this become pieces. Okay, that's what we call a laminator. So you cut them. Cut them to pieces and then put in between. Every so layer of the connection. Don't so let them electrically con 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 conduct. Okay. So that they are not electrically conduct. Yeah, okay. Why? Because this is not used to conduct electricity. Okay? And what why they use uh, make a laminator? Because when you, you when you wire the the, 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 the the primary coil and secondary coil on these two sides, right? The magnetic field the magnetic field is generated in this way. Or another way around, okay? Inside, right? So if you if you if like let's say I cut uh, I cut a pillar out, okay? The magnetic field is coming out in in this way, the magnetic field. At the instant, okay? What will happen is that, um, uh, when a magnetic no, when an electric current flow in this way, a stream of current go in this way, okay? A magnetic field will be conducted, will be generated as a ring form, right? Okay, in the current carrying conductor, the, right right the right hand grip rule. Oh. Okay, on the other hand, right, in the solenoid, in the solenoid is that when you have a, um, when you have a current in this way, okay, you have a magnetic field inside the solenoid in this way, right? There is a current can generate a magnetic field, right? On the other hand, right, actually when you have a magnetic field, it will generate inside a current. Okay? And current is actually a movement of electrons inside your block, which is a waste of energy. Okay? So that's why they cut them into layers. To minimize. When the B field flows, right, the current cannot go. It's kind of very, very small. Uh, yeah, cut into very small pieces. As the smaller you have, the more efficient your 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 conducting core is. But the the cost the cost is higher. Alter the disrupt the the field. No, it will not disrupt. But the current, current is actually a waste, a uh, form of waste energy. Okay, so your 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 you want your you want your uh, current to generate magnetic field. The magnetic field induces another current that runs inside. You don't want to lose energy. Okay, but that's the. So called laminated core. Is the, the whole thing. Okay. Transmission line that is a resistance pair. Unit length is to be used to transmit over 
beta. The output voltage generally is this. What is the line loss of the transformer is used to step up the voltage too. What is the line loss in the transformer is used to step up the voltage to 500. So far. So, okay. So, case one is that you have a generator with certain voltage and then you, through this resistance you have certain loss, right? Now they use the same wire but they step up the voltage so was a loss. Right. Okay. So that's not the voltage, so the drop current so should be less or loss. Yeah, should be less or loss. But the first piece of the conversion must be able to give you something. Do you need something? I think you don't need to use something. Okay. So you can you can find the find the current first. Find the current. Oh yeah. Yeah, you need to find, find the, the power, is it? No, they will give you power, they will give you voltage, you need to find current. Mm -hmm. You need to find the 4.5 kilovolt current, then you find the 500 kilovolt current, and then you do B equals I square R. But do you need the case one? For the pet, for part A, 7, 1, 7, 8? They straight away ask you what's the power loss, right? Yeah. In new, new V, so you don't have to do anything. Okay? So at the line there, see what I need? I need my new power loss. Okay? So just I square R. No, but we don't have R yet. You know the R. We will give resistivity, but yeah. they don't have the how long the wire. They have, right? Over six. Oh. Yeah, same, same length. Then you don't need to care about the step up the voltage to 500 kilovolt. No, it starts with 500 kilovolt now. That means they already add a transformer at the yeah. generator there. Okay, generator. Then transformer. Then transmissions. The line. Then. Load and back. They already added transformer. So it's just five million here. I find the problem. You're right. How you just calculate, yeah. So you just use this divide by 5 million for the part B, is it? Um, yeah. Yeah, I get four hours. a lot of choice. Mm. It will be very hard to transform the voltage. Yep. Is that high? That's answer. No, not really. Uh, that can be answered, why not? They suggest, right? There's no fixed answer. Your answer is correct, they're gonna give you full mark. Okay? If one mark they give you one mark. Okay. But the idea is that uh, there's another idea is that how if the higher the voltage is more efficient, right? Yeah. So but how come it's more dangerous? Yes. But how dangerous it is? Like the birds they only have but 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 step on a high voltage cable, having a high voltage will not get burned because there's no there's you step on high voltage, you don't step on the low voltage, it won't have current go through you. Well, you step on high voltage now. and other leg is still on high voltage, right? Well, you have zero current. Well, no. Yeah, then if the bird can have one leg on the wire, one leg on the ground, then you'll still die. Okay. okay. So yes. another thing is that how come you don't keep increasing the voltage then if, if it's like those the wire is, is very high or underground? How come I 
hot is one. Uh, hot, hot may not due not to hot. the high voltage, high potential only. Okay. The idea is that if it is too high, right, you break down. Okay. okay. Break down means that uh, when a wire is next to a tree, right, the wire being too high potentials, right, the electricity can strip and break down through the air, conduct the tree. Okay. So if this is wire more dangerous. So the difficulties will be dangerous. Uh, yeah, because now, this, now they are transmitting at 500 kV instead. Oh, yeah. Oh. So, so that coal fire is very much lesser than 500. Oh. Yeah. That said, it will not be economically. Yeah, or too hot. Uh. Okay. Because the, because the, uh, the power is proportional to I. Okay. Actually, the more I you have, the more I I you have, the hotter. Else. Uh, the more power loss or the hotter your wire it is. Okay, so if the voltage is too low, the you can say. is very high, then. No, if it's too the high, it will, will be very high. It will break down like lightning, like that, okay? The voltage high means the current is very low. Remember? Same amount of power. Okay, when the current from the input guy is low, then transmitter also low. A transformer enclosing in a wooden block. Its primary scaling coil terminal uh, are available at the two opposite face of the block. How could you find the turn ratio without opening the box? I, I just see you use both meter connect both sides and see the ratio is there. Then you see both zero. Really? <laughs> you don't have one side as an oscillator, you won't have see another side as a voltage regulator, right? There's nobody give generate the magnetic inside yeah. in the beginning. You need AC source. So you plug in AC. Plug AC, plug load there, and then tap the V across the, the AC and load there. Okay. But this is not really interesting. I just realized even if you open the box, I don't think you can read really how many turns it say. Transformer. So, transformer and load, right? Okay. You tap your voltage here, across these two points. You tap your voltmeter here. So this is a V source, this is a V flow. Open the box and count the turn. This uh, cycle, this cycle is one, two, four, four sections, right? Can you see it's a four cycle, four section cycle. Okay. Four What's the formula? I never took it down. Formula? You don't have any formula. Okay. Is what is the meaning of mean square only? No, no, no. The find the mean square. Yeah. So the idea is that what is a root mean square? Root mean square means that okay, current right can common root mean square. Means root of mean square. Mean square means mean of all the square. What is four n? You four n. Now make a four n. Okay, this is a mean value, right? Uh -huh, yeah. Now, because in this case, we break it down to four sections. Okay, so each session you assume that they have n points. Uh. Okay. 
each section have n points. n points, n dots, n dots in each, each section. section. Have n, so it's 1, n, 2, n, 3, n, 4, n. Yeah, okay. So then divide by 4, n, you get a mean square. Right? So this divide by 4, n, you get all the average. So the first i1 to i n is 0. Yeah. The i so n plus second, 1 to is 0. Take second as a reference because it's like, it's like one second, one cycle. Yeah, you see, you see the repeated pattern. Okay. Okay, the repeated pattern. Okay. So within every repeated pattern, you see, uh, four branches. They make it four n. The first n are all zero. Second n four zero. The third n all zero. The fourth n are all four, right? So there are four. Each one is four square, four square, four square, four square dot, right? Yeah. There are n so many dot, right? Okay. So it's four square. Yep, so 4 square n over 4 n. So we call the square root 4. So we call it 2. Okay. Okay, the only thing you need to remember in, in to find the pattern. No, it's sinusoidal. Sinusoidal, you cannot make the n. How many of them? Oh, then do the, do the, is it B? Yes. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, we don't want to do two, but you can't, you can't, you can't use it. You will use it this way. Okay. If you have one quarter of a cycle, uh, if there are n dots there. Yeah. Okay. You gotta see. In this case, your v not over the square root two is equal to v r m s. Okay. Therefore, right. It's equal to square root of v one square plus v v n square over n in this case. Okay, therefore, right, if you just want to take inside, okay, you need v naught square over two times n over v or the v that over yeah. n. Okay. Yeah. So use this. Okay. But the n you this. can pull out and divide. Because this one need to be substituted into the into the combined uh, form. Okay, for example, okay, maybe maybe the best if you can 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 copy an example. Let's say this is a uh, 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 four, and this is a uh, minus two. Okay, let's say the cycle is in this way, repeated. Okay. Yeah. Can okay. and let's say this is a uh, one second. Who cares about one second, two second? Actually? One second and two second. Who cares? Okay. So how to find the root mean square of this uh this waveform? Okay. You gotta see that the root mean square is equal to this one. Uh, split two part. I uh, make it n and n. Okay. So this why I say two n. Okay. For the last n so many. The n of minus two square. Yeah, is four. Okay. But the fun one, how much? Use this. Mm. Okay? If you have n, put n there. You have 2n, you put n there. Okay? So I have n, so many put n there. So actually it's n of v n dot, which is 4 square over 2. So, so it's like 8n now. Uh. Yep. So this is 16, this is 8, right? 8. This is 4. Then you divide by n. So 6. That's it. Okay. So remember, this is the simulation scheme. Okay. If you want, you remember this one. This is for the fragment, small, small fragment of the sinusoidal inside a combined function. I, I also. I also can. Right? Yeah, any max model you can do this. This, 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 when, when they give you this kind of waveform, they are 
only interested to ask you for the mean square of the combined wave. Okay? And the most they ask you is the power of it. They will not ask, ask you to say this one pass through resistor, what will happen at this oh, and that. Why yeah. is it there? And because it's not. It's square, all square, right? What, why is that? Eh? No, no, not N. Yeah. This one? Yeah, why is it? Got N? No, it's, it's V1 square plus V2 square plus V2 square plus until V N square. It is. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, V1, I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. formula, just remember this is used to put inside as part of your combined waveform. Okay. This is used at here only. Normally it will not be used anywhere else. Mm. What's the period for each? The period? For each curve. Um, the, the period depends on what's the value that they give it to you. It will not affect the mean square value. Longer, shorter. Okay. If this is uh, one second, two seconds, that means this is one cycle, two cycle, then the period is one, one second. How do we find the mean value of V square? Mean value of V square, right? Uh, this is mean value of V square. Okay, this is root mean square. Inside is mean square. Root mean square means root of mean square. So just to the inside is, is uh, mean of the uh, mean square. So if you have this waveform, I want mean of mean of mean square. That means I want a mean. How many dots you have? You have two n so many dots. Okay? And then all the square points. Okay? And so many dots. And so many dots. So each dots the value square it. Add it up. Divide by two n. It's the mean, right? Okay. So all the dots here, all the dots here, add together. Okay. Each dots square add together, and then divide back by total number of dots. The the curve part how to count? Yep, yeah, the curve part use this. That's the reason. Can you okay. help me? Uh. For the curve part. For the curve part, right? Okay, so let's do uh, this curve instead of this curve. Okay. So if you have this, and let's say you have many dogs, okay? How many dogs you want? Since n dogs, let's, let's talk about I make n dogs up. Okay. So n dogs for this curve, right? V RMS, right? Is equal to V naught over 2, square 2. Right? But we RMS the, the definitions right now. The re RMS definition is root mean square. This is the meaning of it, right? So if I just want this dot, okay, the square sum, that means I just want this. Okay? How we do? Square root, show over. Okay. So if this is 4, if this is 3, okay, straight away say it is 3 square and 2. So it's equal to 9 and over 2. You cannot find individual points, but you can find the sum of it by using this formula. Okay. So when you need to use it, you just want the sum of the square of the sinusoidal functions. Just use this, so it's this. Use the sinusoidal uh, max, square it. How many dots you want, put how many dots you want in order to. It's not in any uh, formula.
almost made transfer algorithm. Over two table, which we just need this by two method. Is there a source to this and then down the one to zero? I think that one can be. We sure. Okay. 24 volt accumulator battery, let me just battery, okay, may be charged from 2.0 AC using a transformer and a diode. Explain whether the battery will be charged, the turn ratio is 12 to 1. Turn ratio is 12 to 1. Interesting. If the turn ratio is 12 to 1, on the primary one, one also. Yeah, then 240 will be <coughs> down to. 12. You have a 12, so 20. Yeah. 20. 20, right? Okay. Yeah. So that means the, the, the output of accumulator, the AC will only give you. 20 volt RMS. But what does it care about this thing? Sorry? Accumulator. Accumulator. What does it take for the battery to charge? The ba ba battery to charge you use the same amount of uh, V in DC. Oh, so you don't just make it to DC. Yeah. You calculate the RMS. Yeah, the RMS is the RMS is like uh, twenty divided by root two. Yeah, then you are using the a diode, a diode. I think it's a halfway verification, right? Diode. Yeah. Interesting. It will be charged. Now, if you have uh, interesting. <laughs> this is very ridiculous. Okay, anyway, 20 volt, right? Okay. 20 volt RMS, right? The sinusoidal can can be 20 square root 2 as a max. The peak will be 20 point uh, 20 square root 2. This is 20 divided by square root 2. This is already divided by square root 2. This is RMS. This RMS. You can you only use RMS to do the calculation for the transform, right? Make oh. sense? Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this is RMS, the question tell you the RMS. 240 give me 20, then 20 is RMS. So the peak you can go with is uh, 20 root 2. Yeah. So 20 root 2, I think, is a quite, quite big. 20 root 2. Root, 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 root 2. 28.2. 28 point something. So the idea of battery charge is that anytime you can reach the, the, the voltage greater than the DC value, that instant can be charged. So that means, right? That means, right, the battery can be charged in this interval. Why must be greater than DC? That's Sorry? the battery rule. The battery? The battery can be charged when you, when you, pump, when the you pump the voltage equal to or greater than the, 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 the voltage of the battery itself. Huh? Yeah. Or at least, you know, at least you have an instant of 20. You have an instant of 20, okay, at least these two points can be charged, something like that, when they keep fluctuating. Okay, no luck, okay, actually this whole line can charge. So it's like all this cannot be charged, but there are some instances that can be charged. The whole area above the line can be charged. Yes. Okay. But not a, uh, yeah. That's interesting. AC voltage higher than DC voltage. Um, not higher than low, but they are completely, uh, completely different waveform. Okay. So they, there's no higher or lower you can talk about. Okay, but anyway, the 20 you get is the 20 RMS. So 20 RMS, the waveform should be this way. Okay, and it's a halfway verification, so the downstairs is gone. So then you can see right, the peak value is 28, right? Then there should be a time interval greater than 20. When the peak of a sinus order is 28, there should be an interval that is greater than 20. So within this interval, right, the transformer is giving you the voltage greater than 20, so the battery should be able to charge within this interval. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that means it can be charged out. Um, talking A, B. So this small amount of time can be charged. You're right, okay. Majority of time are wasted. Okay, now A, B, right? First, the transformer step is in ratio 12 to 1. So 240 volt step to 20 volt. 
Okay, so you actually the But the IMS of this whole circuit is lower than 20 volts, right? 24 volts. It's equal to 20 volt. Right? But I got a diode there, so it the the diode only cut away the half waveform only. So we cannot play the number. We cannot play the number. We draw it out. If it is 20 volt come out, this is what you get. Okay? Oh, okay. So when you have this will get which instant will my battery get charged or there's no instant at all? Okay, so you have some instant that the battery can be charged, the battery will be charged. And this trend is RMS. So the peak is V peak equal to 20 times root 2, which is 28 for the weight. Now, 4 volts of the battery means is 24 volts. DC is it? Uh, 24 volt DC, you're right. Then no. 12 to 1, so then you have 12, it goes to the supply that is receiving it, yeah. which is 20. 20. Which means that the AC is lower than the DC. Uh, you can say so, but we don't compare AC with DC. Then how do you know if it's being charged? Yep, so you need to come out and say what will happen. Okay. The battery, the battery, the 24 volt battery, right? The 24 battery will be charged up whenever you have 24 volt across this. Make sense? Okay. The 20 volt AC <coughs> is in the form of 28 minus 28. How you get 20? 20 square root 2. 28 1, 2, 8, 4, 2. We not equal to V R S time root two. Then how you know to equal this V R S? So you don't talk about peak, right? Right? <laughs> you don't talk about peak in your all the calculations, unless you really talk about peak, lah. Okay. In the in the transform step up step up, the time we we'll always talk about R S value. Okay. But when you draw a graph, you need the peak value. Okay. So when why why you find the peak value? Because I want to draw a graph. Okay, so this is the one. Then we draw a DC inside. Draw AC? Yep. No, then where do we add the DC? We don't draw the DC, eh? It's not comparing, okay? So now, so now you gotta think in the real life. This is my requirement. Okay? This is what the AC adapter give it to me. The idea is that will this battery get charged up if you plug this across this? Will right? It's not about comparing DC with AC. Okay? It's not about what I what how to get this charge up versus what is given to me. So I realize so long as above 20, that instance, this time interval should be able to charge the battery. But 24, not 20. Well, I can talk about 20. So you just say yes, you can charge. You can charge up, okay? In the interval that your your V is greater than equal to 24 volt. Then no more calculation. No calculation, yeah. It's an uh, explanation. Okay. And remember, you identify right, that below one is gone again. In the graph. For this, for them, then you are comparing AC's voltage root mean square with a DC constant voltage, right? Yep. I thought you said they cannot be compared. Wait, uh, they can, they normally, normally don't compare. Unless you say they compare their, 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 their voltage. What do you have? I don't use it. Oh, it is not super. Interesting. It's like the last part. You can only do by two. Oh, cool. Chosong, when they find out to be used to convert the AC means currently to lower. Mm -hmm. Do a much lower DC output in RS or the main thing is that it doesn't compete. The desired example is 15 can only pick value of the main voltage. Determine the number of turns in secondary coil given the number of turns the primary coil is this. So you are like comparing this IMS with this. Mm, I'm thinking, does it make sense? I also don't think it makes sense. I thought I'm using the band.
90 and 100. Yeah, later than us. Determine the number of turns a second coil given the number of turns for 3000. So I compare the voltage as well. RMS value. Yeah, so yeah, so you will, so this one you need to take the IMS value and compare IMS AC value and compare with a DC voltage, constant voltage. Uh, so what is the logic behind? Yeah, I, I know the logic, but when I do like that, I get also. Yeah, but that's, I don't, doesn't give any rationale. <laughs> No, it, it, it can be done in this way, but it doesn't make any sense at all, this question. No, really? Yeah, yeah I explained to you why, why it doesn't make sense. What is your, what's the rationale we have? Maximum power theory or any, anything? Yeah, maximum power theory. Okay, a transformer, right? Transformer, input output. Now, if you have a sinusoidal pass through a transformer, it will hack a sinusoidal also. Okay, you have a sinusoidal also. So, if you say this one, uh, give me an RMS value, this will give you an RMS value. The RMS value times square root 2, right? Will be the peak here. Yeah. So if you divide by, so where is the V RMS value? RMS value is, is the peak divided by square root 2. So this height, this height of length, right, divided by square root 2, right, will be counted at here, counted at here. So you chop off in this way, chop off in some way. So if you make, if you use this rationale, you can only guarantee that this amount. Of the waveform is greater than the, 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 the DC value, it can never turn to a really DC value. Mm -hmm. Okay, so does this um, make any sense to your question if they, they do it this way? Okay, otherwise, I, I think they are using a rectifier. Yeah, yeah rectifier. What do you know about rectifier? They can convert, then the peak becomes the value of the DC. Unless you use the full wave verifier with the capacitor that will make the I think you're assuming that to make the peak value the constant. Peak value constant. Ah, uh, then become the DC. Huh? Then you use a peak value, right? Ah, uh. but I don't use a peak value. But you're not using a peak value, right? You're using a root mean square equal to the DC desire, right? Yeah, then you can. You see, so um, peak value makes sense actually somehow because the if you have a diode, you don't need really to see the frequency here. Yeah. You need to give frequency yeah. for what? You drop in this way, right? And you drop with a, uh, uh, you drop with a capacitor. See, it will actually help you to slowly retard your things. So you have things like this. It looks like DC. So this one will get very close to the peak value DC. Okay, it makes sense. The capacitor. Okay, but I don't think you are using the capacitor because there's no need to use the frequency. No need. Help. Okay, so uh, you can get your things by treating the I'm uh, Ruby square value as the design of the DC, but there's no rationale behind. Okay, maybe you you can tell me next lesson you see teacher <laughs> something like that. Yeah, okay, it I doesn't make sense, okay? Hey, I I don't, I, I don't see how can, how can it make sense. Huh? Nine B, I don't know. Nine B. Two four zero volt AC is reduced to twelve four. With a step down transformer, the output of transformer is connected to the same resistor R via two diode in a diagram shown. Interesting. The sketch label graph show how the current flow across V via V type. Well, that's what they want to test you. Okay. Right. Let's see how this. Now, in the in a transformer, in a coil, there, right? 
you have a coil, and then you have your circuit, and they have two diode. And there are three lines here, interesting. Okay, what can this coil guarantee you is uh, a sinusoidal oh. wave across these two points, and this will give you a sinusoidal functions like this way. Okay, so that means right if you tap, if you so oh, for example, also can, but the middle also can. Yeah. Okay. So for example, if this is let's say, uh, at this instance, let's say it's six volt. Okay. So this is why, right? If you tap this one relative to this point, right? This is plus three. Relative to this point, right? This is minus three. Because it's at the center, right? But this potential difference got to be six. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you set this to be zero, relative to this, this is plus three. Yeah. Relative to this is this is minus three to this. So therefore, this to this is a six, because it's six volt. That is when it makes zero. Yeah. Okay. And in this coil, right? I think it makes sense to trans uh, treat this as a uniform wire. Okay. So if you put a center, this amount of potential, this amount of potential going to be the same. And the sum of these two potential equal to the big potential. So we always assume the middle is zero, no wire. Uh, middle is zero, yes. We always assume that. Uh, you, if you draw something, you need to set one side of zero. I think zero. Okay, sorry. Uh, because these are all relative. The V, right? V equal to six, right? It's actually two points. The difference is six. So which point is the reference point? It's up to you. Okay. But when we plot the graph, the time we make, we may need all this. Or just any set any one of the zero, okay? Then you see what happened. A, B, and C, right? Question nine. So this is child vote fluctuating. Twelve RMS or twelve RMS. Okay. So the input source in this case, right? This A B C point, and this is a uh, twelve volt RMS. Twelve volt RMS means twelve square root two as a maximum. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So let's uh, let's see what happened. I think Joe one cycle is good enough. This is uh, 12 square root 2, 0, minus 12 square root 2, and 0. Okay? So, okay, when it is 0, that means potential difference across this is 0. Okay? Your, your VABC, your VABC here, Need to be yes, zero, zero, zero. Make sense? Yeah. Okay, when you go up to the max the time, okay, when you go up to the max the time, right, the potential difference across this thing got to be 12 for 2. Assume this is high, this is low. Okay, just assume, because next instant you just don't buy it. Okay, so up to you. Let's say this, this case, this high, this is low. So, if you set the center to be 0, okay, it will be 6 root 2, 0, minus 6 root 2. Yeah. In the A, B, C here. That's right. Because this is 12 root 2. Yeah, that, that so is this is 6 root 2, right? So you set this 0, this is positive 6 root 2, this is negative 6 root that's 2. This is on the peak, right? Yeah, this is on the peak. Okay. okay. So here is 0, 0, 0 again. Yeah. So in this case, right, it is minus 6 root 2, 0, and 6 root 2. Yeah. And this is 0 again. Okay? So, so we can see that this potential, right, if you set this 0, this B potential is forever straight line. Mm -hmm. And this A's potential, right, is 0, it 6. follows the graph. Yes. And 0 and minus 6 root 2. So it follows in this way. And interesting, right? This side, right? Is 0, minus 6 root 2, 0, yeah, positive 6 root 2. So it's a flip. Yeah, it's a flip. 
Okay, so let's continue the wire wiring. So they pass through a diode. Okay, now after you pass through a diode, right, you have this and this. Uh -huh. And this one, right, you have this Zero and minutes. this. Make sense? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so after the diode, what happened? They connected. The diode cancel. The diode cancel negative. negative. Part. Yeah, because negative is do not allow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Negative is so called the backward yeah. direction. You're right, okay. But uh, it's all symbolic. So anyway, and then they so connect. A series of arms. Connect back, right? Okay. So yeah. Up. Yeah, it seems, seems to be a metal like that. And the top value is how much? 6 root 2. Right? So finally, get to a low and back to the neutral. Okay, cool. So this point come back to here, to the low, back to the neutral. Okay. So this is always 0, and this is about. So what happened to the current in this uh, load? Okay. Here, if you start with zero, there's no current. Because there's a potential difference, there's current. More, 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 more and more current. Less than current, no current. More current, no current. Okay. This is the V graph. Okay. The potential difference will drive the current there. Okay. Zero, zero, no difference. Zero somewhere, there's a high difference. High difference, high current. So you can see the current will follow the increasing and increasing here, the pumping style. And the peak value of everything is uh, is a uh, six root two, I think. Six root two. Okay. That's the car. That's the voltage. Yes, that's the voltage. Sheet. Yeah, this is the voltage, right? Okay. So wait, they say they ask you what's the voltage across the resistor, right? So the they what's the voltage, voltage of the resistor? Oh, they ask the current through the resistor, right? So yeah. when you have current, we need a V V over R. Okay, and they want to. We want to plot the graph, so we use a graph. Okay, so the V here is divided by the difference, the difference between these two points. Okay, with this graph and this graph, the difference of these two graph, of these two points, is the same as this graph. This graph subtract zero with this graph. Now can you repeat the last one? Every instance, you subtract every instance correspondingly to get a potential difference. You, this is the potential difference time. Yeah, the one, yeah, yeah. It's the one different on both circuit. Yeah, so no, across this resistor. Because this is the voltage at this point, is the voltage at this point. So this graph subject is quite the potential difference across these two points. Oh, yeah. So the potential difference across the resistor. Potential difference across this resistor divided by the R, that means it's a fixed value, is equal to I. But therefore, the I, right, is this graph divided by a constant. Value or scaling. Okay? So it's the same shape. So it's the same shape. So the I is the same shape. But the value, okay, this is uh this is uh six root two, right? Mm -hmm. So this six root two of R. After it's after. Yeah. Mm. Can I go to the Ryman's value of following periodic is currents? Yes. This one is not I naught. This one is not I naught. two period. Divide by two n. The first n are all I naught. So n times I naught square. Wait, wait, wait. Here got no two n. This one, uh, two n also. We can do it. Okay? They will give you the same thing. So the first n you have I naught square, right? We only do one like that. We say so this two n. Yeah. We don't do the rest. Yeah, take one cycle. Okay, take one cycle. Look, 
to do that, do that is only for Sunny Solo only. You do this, right? Yeah. Okay. No, it's the same answer. The, the root I over root 2 is only for is only for AC. But if I do it, the I n I not square is the same answer. For this part, this part. This one. This one should be I not is your answer. It should be I not over root 2. You have answer the two ends just gone. You yeah it will it will be cancelled. Okay. Here. Okay, look here. RMS right equal to if I you make two n right means the first part the first part have n pawns right? This have n pawns, right? Yeah. So what is this values? I not square, right? Mm. So this I not square. How many R square you have? N so many. The second one? n times minus i naught squared, right? Uh -huh. So therefore, 2i naught squared over 2n. 2n i naught squared over 2n. 2n, 2n cancel, you get i naught. Okay, but learn a shortcut, okay? When you see a DC flip, things like that, it's just as good as the normal DC only. Doing this one. This one. This is I not that. This one second. So this n I not square plus nothing. Yes. And then when you have nothing, but the denominator is two. It's two n. Then you see something interesting. Yeah, then you get the square root two, okay? And this square root two has nothing to do with the R, the sine square root two, okay? okay. Yeah, good. The first one is two i not square. First one is just i not square. Yeah. First one i not yeah. I not i not yeah. Sorry, you take the square root. Do you divide by two n? Two n because I take this one is one plus one. Yeah, so two n right? Yeah. Divide by two n right? The first bunch got how many? N of n of I square, right? The second one? Also N, N of I square. I square, right? Then you add together, how many N of I square? 2N two. Two divided by 2N, you got? I, I not square. I not square, take square root, you get I not. Okay. Um, the key to the toilet is 7 points. Yeah. Thing I right? so K A equals to mm -hmm. and then that is like for buffer again, then mm -hmm. how, how you calculate the pH of the buffer solution that you add mm -hmm. as your salt. First you still use the same formula. Okay. K A equal to H plus uh, X minus H X. But then, when you are buffer, you have two assumptions. Okay. The first assumption is uh, your HX concentration at equilibrium can be estimated as HX concentration original. The weak acid of original. How much you pour concentration inside, use it as if it is in equilibrium. They dissociate some, but it's negligible, so treat as there's, there's no dissociation. And secondly, right, the contribution of X minus ion okay, is it's actually totally because of the ink new Yeah, ink it's a salt, okay? It's the solution sodium X. 
concentrations. Okay, so actually it is why it's just a function of salt. Okay, and plug in this value here. Oh, sorry, here and plug yeah. this value here. Okay, bring this over, bring it over, and get the H plus, and then do the minus log. Okay. The third thing you need to remember is in charting that okay, is that when it's a maximum buffer theory, maximum buffer, maximum buffer, um, you can say it's the midpoint of a neutralization graph. It's from this to this half. Okay, so it's at this point. Okay, maximum buffer. Maximum buffer can also be the indicator. Okay. The ratio of the acid and the salt is the same. Yeah, so indicator where the ratio of acid and salt is the same, right? That means it's the midpoint of the change. Okay, midpoint of the change of the indicator. So you give you an indicator range of this and that. You halve it, the actually is less the indicator range. Okay, so all these are indication of maximum buffer. Okay, so when maximum buffer you have concentration of your uh, salt and your exit is the same okay so these two cancel right okay mm -hmm. the k actually equal to h plus so if you know the h plus you know the k also if you know the k is or you know the h plus this is the the first one you gave me is on addition of what this one no the on top on top this one yeah. this two is in buffer solutions buffer solution standard you when you do calculations and then you do this this is one instant of the buffer solution because buffer solution need not to be maximum buffer. This is the one you gave me. It's just buffer solution of, of this substance uh, of yeah. this buffer solution. And what happened yeah. when you add stuff? Sorry, can yeah, you when add, add stuff? Uh, when add XC. When add XC, you calculate. Um, yeah, the new pH. Of the no, when when you calculate XC, right? You must know. Um, we must know assumption first. Is it a perfect buffer? That I'm gonna calculate. I think you gotta calculate the perfect buffer. Yeah. Because. And then you come to our logic when x when x x plus is added is added. So what is our logic? Our logic says that the story goes with this one, where with this, give you this. Okay, if it's a perfect buffer, it means however much you get, all can be moved. Mm. Okay, then from here you know how much of this um, new h x. If all can be moved, you get the same value actually. Yeah. So. It all get removed, but the amount of x minus will drop. yeah will drop. Okay, so h plus will not increase. Then this one drops. This one increases also. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you calculate the new h plus. Huh? Oh, yeah. h plus is the same. Sorry, h plus is the same. Okay, you calculate other things. Ah, uh, but it's like calculate the new pH. The new pH when something happens. Yeah, then maybe maybe you, you say this one drop. Ah, uh, yeah, the old amount will change. The old okay. amount of H plus. The old amount of H plus will change. Why? Because uh, because um, when you increase this, right? You increase by four H plus by four. Perfect buffer H plus don't change, right? Yeah, you need perfect buffer. Don't perfect buffer then how you calculate the pH. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it dropped by how much? Oh, K constant, okay? Yeah, so maybe, constant. maybe, this makes sense, but never mind. You, you add an extra thing, this drop, this increase, this constant, so the new H plus going to be how much? Then you, you from the new H plus go to be how much? This one, I'm over, then you get the pH point. But that's not quite uh, quite a true number you get. Okay? Because, because the idea is that you don't know how much is, is removed. Okay, not all. Let me pop it down. This time I'm gonna take the camera over. <laughs> shoot a picture. Or oh, you want me to shoot a picture for you? No, no, no. Yeah, I was actually planning to take a picture, but I think I'll put one later. Mm -hmm. X minus 
is the is the source this is that dissolve inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The ion, yeah. AC one now. Yeah, I think I think I see. The THX is the weak acid that is like totally not dissociated. Yeah. Uh -huh. will not drop mm. roughly so it will even though it is dependent but my concentration will not change yeah and for the water concentration you just get a water density which is fixed how many gram per dm cube you use up the gram you use up the dm cube also so the concentration will still be how many gram per dm cube mm. make sense okay so because the solvent is itself right you use up the number of mole you also use up the water Therefore, the, the concentration is always constant, even if you keep using the water. But if it is using, let's say, sodium salt inside the water, you use, it, use away the number of mole, but the solvent is not sodium. So the denominator will, 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 not, uh, will be the same. Then the numerator dropping, the denominator will be the same, and the concentration will keep dropping. The concentration is dropping, your rate will keep. Already. 
will keep being affected by the change of concentration throughout the action. So it's meaningful to write, it's meaningless to write. Even though it's dependent, but it will never drop. Okay? Mm. So that's why they the idea is this k will take in all the constants. So now it's as, as if it's a constant. So they take all of them become k prime and a. Yeah. So then they give the name called this is called pseudo first order. But actually it's second order, right? This is a pseudo first order you can Because it's second order. Because water actually is a, a reactant. But A can be second order, so it can be A square. Yeah, so if it is A square, it's a pseudo second order equation. But so it it's third actually a third order equation. Yeah. You mean the overall, okay, but if without the A square, then the overall is second order. But with respect to A, it's first order. Yeah, yeah, you're right. With respect to A, it's first order. With respect to A, well, there's no respect to A pseudo, okay? Pseudo means overall. A pseudo first order. So in your calculation of time, you can just treat the whole k, put this one inside. Don't really separate these two. Treat that as a one. But there's only one right over here. Just a name only. Okay. okay. I don't think you have many calculation as much that you can do. Easy. You can ask me max with some always feed the capture just quite dry. Yeah, what do you want? Otherwise you go for a little pocket or something. Mention it or what? Oh. Yeah, um the one table cycle. Hmm. When do we use the Products reactors arrow. Yeah, that thing. That thing I can. Product reactors. So you told us the this one to this one, then you make everything to the the C of products that arrow the arrow then we go C. When do we use this? Ah, uh? when do we use this? Um, is it the same? When do we use this? When do we use this? Wait uh, This means uh, equivalency, right? If this is like that, it's like that, it's like that, they give the same substance we can bring out. Uh -huh. It's the same, right? Uh, yeah. What is the problem? Because usually we only do this, we don't do this. We don't do this. Or oh, you use element block, is it? We only do this. The Equivalence. Is it the same? Is this as this? But we don't usually use this in school. Wait, I, 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 I don't get what you mean actually. Try to tell me what is the difference in your in your opinion. What's the difference between this and this? How come you say you don't use this but you use this? Well, then you say the C of the one, then um I I I didn't say C for, right? I said the, it's a block, right? For the <laughs> same same meaning. For this one, right? Um it's like you this step become this step, then mm. this one become this one. For this one is all there then the comments so you draw arrow for each individual. Mm, I didn't I did I didn't do this also. I I say use a block of elements. Elements in natural state, right? Uh, natural okay. is gas. Natural state means it's all natural state. Uh. Yes. Just one block. I won't write down write them down in a, in a box of elements, okay? Because usually you do like that. Like change one, change one, yeah, change one. Yeah. Go. But uh, you cannot, uh, you got to use this block when they give you the data H formations. Data H formations. You need to use this block. There's no way you can become something. My sodium cannot become my chloride. So my sodium solid and my chloride, chlorine gas right, got to be here. This cannot become this. So there's no way. Can you give us an example for this? Yeah, sure. Okay. So. In general, okay, let's 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 repeat that again. In general, uh, your question only have local. Your question only have Hertz law and von Haber cycle. Okay, von Haber cycle actually have the same concept of Hertz law. Okay, but von Haber cycle normally involve uh, 
involve uh, lattice energy. Okay, involve lattice energy. Okay, so it is a, a special case of Hertz law. Okay, actually you use Hertz law also. Okay, so in Hertz law, general Hertz law, that means not for a cycle. That means you, you can't see any lattice energy and ionization and such, right? Combustion and all. Only cycle is to form something. They are, they're the same thing actually. But this one have like egg or dice that, that kind of things. This one may be only a ring of three. Okay? And this one must involve lattice energy. And this one do not involve lattice energy. Okay, and even though you say this is involved lattice energy, you can still call them first law. Okay? Because point inverse cycle developed from it's a cycle, but this is a concept. Okay? It's using this concept. Okay? So the same thing. So in the first law, you only have three types of questions they can they can they can they can teach you know, they can ask you about the tree. Okay, five types. Five types. Okay. The first type, right, is using delta X formations. Okay? That means they give you all the products delta X formations or the specific equations. So what does it, does, what does it tell you? If you have they want to find this delta H by giving you all these four delta H formations. Okay? So all you need to do is drop blocks of elements from yeah. this how much, from this how much, from this how much, from this. So if you want this, it's equal to the minus zero. Don't bind these two, add these two. Okay? So for example. So the opposite side is just minus. If it is minus beyond plus, with the plus beyond minus. If the delta H F is already minus, then then you go minus the minus. If, if it go against the error. Combustion or? Combustion is second type. The bond table here. Yeah. No. This one second type. This one has three types. Oh have five types, okay. Uh elements in natural state. Okay. So if this is a plus one hundred, this is a minus two hundred. If this one form from elements, that is formations, right? Is uh, plus 70 and this is uh, minus 50 okay then the delta H is equal to minus the, don't bite the 100 don't bite the minus 200 and plus the 70 and, and plus the minus 50 Sorry, I don't, I don't think you have rationalized anything. <laughs> Ken is in the video anyway. The Yuko video. And you want, is it got some problem with the video access? Oh, uh, it's like low, low low resolution. Then it's like, no, it's like I don't want to click where. It's like two hours. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got to load again. You want you want me to copy the instantaneous file to you so that you can straight away tap to each point you want. I, 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 I bring my life for this time. It's, it's a few kids. Yeah. How many? Oh, maybe I can put a DVD. It's not enough for more than four kids. Because I, I, I compress it. Huh? Oh. Don't compress it, it's more than 100 kids already. Put a DVD for you? Yeah. So you pay me better five bucks? <laughs> okay, okay, it's time. Okay, so this is the other formations. Yeah. Similarly, right, the second second type of questions, right, is delta H of combustion. They will tell the combustion value of H. They give you all the combustion value. Yeah. Or something that you combust is still the same substance. By some oxygens. You know the delta H combustion is zero by yourself. Okay, delta H formation also if this this is a uh, uh, a chlorine gas is formed, okay, then this is zero, okay? Because chlorine gas made from chlorine, the gas is the same thing, okay, so zero. Mm. And they will tell you the value, get okay, all this. The next combustion is right. They will say uh, this one combusts how much, combusts how much. Okay, so they ask you to find this delta H, right? And you just draw a box of combusted substance, okay, and then just draw an arrow down. What is this CS thing, combustible substance? What combusted substance. That means substance after you burn. After you burn. Yeah. Well, why you can do this box block? The reason is because delta H formations is never dependent on the reactants. It's only talk about how many moles of the product form. So this why only the product is good enough. So the reactant don't care. So the arrows are values of what? 
the ar arrow arrows are this ones that are edge combustions. This ones that are edge combustions. So it's let's say uh, minus two hundred uh, plus one hundred minus seventy plus fifty the kind of things. That means this one burn right. You need well plus one hundred to become this combustor substance. If something cannot burn, that means it behind itself and put a zero there. Okay. So the delta H right in this case is equal to minus two hundred plus one hundred yeah. because they're in the same arrow, yeah, but this is minus fifty. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so this hair slotting is just one block of stuff and then arrows then sort the arrows. No, only in these two cases. Only this two cases. Yeah. Only in these two cases you can draw block. Oh, okay. Okay. So also two cases you can draw. Third case, five type, right? Third case is the rank of three. The rank of three. Remember, I told you the ring of three. Okay, the ring of three you don't have to draw, cannot draw box. Okay. The first one, delta H formations. The, uh, the combustion will follow the, the down up. The yes, you're right. All her stores follow that way, I think. The third one is actually the rank of three. Okay? The rank of three, as well as for you in a very abstract way. The best have an example, okay, but don't have an example. I think last time we have a, a carbonate with uh, bicarbonate, that kind of example. Okay, that one is quite nice. Okay, if you have a delta H1, delta H2, delta H3, okay? You got to, you got to first identify which is the main actor okay oh so define a main actor main actor main actor main actor main actor main actor and if i look at the main actor you draw 